Lon Sharp, thank you for joining us on the newscast. Yes, thank you. Still quill. I want to talk to you about the arc of your career. Yes, uh, that, that arc uh, definitely began uh, before I could even remember. Uh, I grew up here on the Quinault Reservation. Uh, my grandparents fished for a living. I knew as an eight-year-old what treaty abrogation meant. That inspired me to want to become an attorney to, to defend our treaty rights. No one in my family had ever gone to college at that point. And so early, early in those years, uh, my mother worked as a recording secretary for the Northwest Indian Fish Commission. And so it was my job to hit the play and the record button. And I traveled throughout the Pacific Northwest uh, listening to our tribal leaders talk about uh, what was at stake in, in the Bolt decision. The 1974 case that affirmed treaty rights for fishing and hunting and help steer you to a legal career. I had mentioned my grandfather. Uh, he told me years ago that a law degree is a social tool, it's a political tool, and it's an economic tool. And I feel like I've spent an entire career, multiple careers, advancing those basic principles. And, and I've lived decades uh, of public service. And so looking at the last prong of, of economic advancements, uh, that's that's a tool I, I've been gifted, and so I, I do see that uh, an emerging role for us to not only advance tribal interests and tribal sovereignty in a political sense, but we have an entire world of opportunity, a global economy, uh, resources and access that we now have that we historically just didn't have. What that means for me is uh, I'm at a place in, in time where I've prepared my entire lifetime for the next chapter of my life. And what that means for me uh, at this point is I'm not gonna be seeking reelection uh, here at the Quinault Nation. Uh, I've run six terms prior to becoming an elected official. I served over a decade as the reservation attorney in the Attorney General's office here at Quinault. Elders told me, Fawn, if, if you wanna come back to serve the nation, it's gonna be so important for you to go outside to gain experience. And so I worked at a federal level, I worked at a state level. I saw the inner workings of government at the highest levels. I brought that knowledge back and I applied it as an elected official. And I can honestly say for six terms, 18 years, uh, I served every bit uh, to the very best of my abilities, upholding and honoring an oath of office that I took so so dearly and now uh, I, I get to take all of that knowledge all of that experience and wisdom and apply it in a way where i know we have to go i i know we have to be a global player politically economically socially and so that's where i'm at right now and part of that might mean working with other tribes yes absolutely uh, working with other tribes I think there are a number of tribes that are actively working to capture carbon uh, they're, they're actively working on efforts to do the things that we know is is necessary uh, there's there's trillions of metric tons of carbon in the atmosphere we have to capture and store some of that we have to look at orphan methane gas leaks all across just oklahoma for example there's thousands of methane leaks and so scientists are saying we're not going to get to target just by reducing emissions we actually have to capture and store those emissions so as we work uh, internally to do things like we are here at Quinault, restoring our salmon, moving our villages to higher ground, there's an entire globe that's in crisis, that's in physical crisis, and we have to do all we can to take out carbon, to, to capture and, and store methane fuels, because it is a, a ticking time bomb, and, and so uh, other tribes are, are doing that, and, and I'm just excited to take the knowledge and, and wisdom that I've gained over the years and apply it in a way that, that um, creates an explosion of economic growth across Indian country. And I know when you look at things like tribal gaming and the ability that tribes have been able to advance, being leading employers in, in their county and in their states, uh, an economic force, the scale of the growth that's in front of us is, is like tribal gaming on steroids. And, and it's an opportunity for us to have influence domestically here inside the United States, but also globally. And it, it, it energizes me, it inspires me. And so when I do to go to other parts of the world and I see others so desperate for solutions and I have a conversation with somebody from Dow Industries of Europe, for example, and, and talking about 
ecosystems. You don't have to recreate those in a lab. You could come out to Quinault and see from glacier to ocean, a river system in which there's no, you know, there's, there's no development. And so I'm, I'm after taking our message globally, but just as important inviting CEOs, investors out to Indian country, because when you do business with us, it's, it's a much different process. Ansharp, thank you very much. Thank you. See you, Quill.